So um, I've been intrigued by the variable valve timing uh, system uh, lately. Uh, so I thought I'd come out to my car and actually take a look. I actually have, can you see the solenoid there? The silver, uh, or sorry, the uh, oil control valve. Um, the silver cylinder there. And I've got the connector back probed there. And I'm actually back probed in the brown and white wire. You can see it. And the other wire, of course, is just going to ground. And uh, so interesting about this circuit is uh, unlike most uh, oil control valves, variable valve timing uh, systems that are actually out there, this one appears to be high side switched if you look at the drawing. So we've got, they didn't draw just a traditional transistor. They actually, it looks like a field effect transistor to me. Somebody correct me if I'm mistaken. Um, here's the oil control valve itself. Um, that's the cam phaser item three, and then the return through this resistor back to ground. So I assume it's high side switched, although the manual actually doesn't tell you that. That's critical to know if you're looking at the duty cycling. Um, there's a circuit that we've already, uh, the hydraulic circuit that we've already covered. So I've actually got my picoscope actually set up here. And um, I can't do the drive cycle, of course, because I'm not in the mood to run a wire. I'm not, get, I'm not, I'm not that interested. <laughs> I've already showed you this uh, reference waveform from the manual. So I basically just uh, followed its uh, recommendations as closely as possible with respect to the uh, scaling. Um, I don't have 5 volts per division. Um, I'm just on a full screen here on the picoscope, so I'm on the 20 volt scale, uh, 2 milliseconds uh, per, per division, um, timeline wise. And yeah, so if you look at the instructions, it actually tells you measurement condition at the moment of the ignition switch turned on. So I've got, I don't know if you can see through the windshield there, Lisa Wave. There's Mrs. Uh, the Gibby 3340. Put your chin up a wee bit. You're just underneath there. There she is. <laughs> just underneath the windshield wiper. Um, so she's just going to uh, turn the ignition switch to the on position for us. And we'll see what we can actually get on the scope and see if we can make sense of it. Okay. So let me put you on the tripod for a minute. Okay, let's see if we can make some sense of this. So I've pulled in uh, two cursors in order to measure the uh, time base. Uh, so I'm on the leading edge of, of both of the pulses there. And you can see that we have a, we've got a delta, delta time of uh, four milliseconds. So um, I'll do the math and we'll uh, see how that actually converts to frequency. Uh, the manual says it was in and around, uh, what did I say before, two, two, 240, 60, 280 hertz maybe somewhere close to there I guess um, I guess that would be 250 wouldn't it anyway I'll do the math I think it's 250 250 Hertz um, we can see we have 12 volts on the uh, on the uh, top uh, 12 and a half volts on the top of the uh, the high side and uh, of course down the low side it actually looks like it's a wee bit below zero volts strangely enough and um, duty cycle again at the moment you turn the key we've got a duty cycle of 20 just over um, 20 percent so I think that all kind of makes some sense I'm not going to bother with the uh, uh, any additional measurements because they'd kind of have to be done in a dynamic condition for inside the car and run wires and nah I'm not doing that I think um, I think this is sufficient to prove the point um, that the oil control valve is in fact um, duty cycle controlled and the manual does flush out the actual uh, way they close to the actual numbers the, the pulse width there looks a wee bit um, wider than the manual shows but I guess you have to take this stuff with a grain of salt right um, keeping in mind this is a 2.4 liter engine the manual I'm actually referring to is for the 1.6 very very similar but not identical there may be some differences Oh, sorry, I wanted to mention one last thing, uh, actually, before uh, I close up here. Um, I recently got this book, actually, Automotive Oscilloscope Waveform Analysis by Graham Stokes. Great book, very, uh, very good quality, and uh, it covers all kinds of stuff. If, you, if you're new to uh, scoping, uh, uh, well, anything really, especially automotive products, um, 
I highly recommend this book and uh, um, there is an actual section in here. I don't want to uh, show you too much of the book in the interest of breaching the guy's copyright, but there is a section in here on uh, scope and variable valve timing. The way it actually lays it out is it shows you a trace, explains what you're looking at on the trace, gives you a little graphic of uh, what you're actually scoping and kind of the, uh, the equipment that you're going to need accessories for your scope. So there's a single channel, like I have, my car is only a single channel intake cam only, but it actually shows you in the case where you have a, a car that's maybe a wee bit more modern, a wee bit more sophisticated, shows you a trace where you actually uh, um, have the intake and exhaust cam on a variable valve timing phaser. So uh, this book actually, sorry, actually came um, by recommendation. I didn't just dream this book up. Actually, Matt, mechanic, uh, mechanic Matt, uh, he's a fella in uh, Fife, uh, Scotland, if you want to understand. He actually recommended the book and I'm glad he did because um, it's, uh, it's an excellent book and I've actually learned plenty. As I said, I'm, I'm really new to the scoping. Uh, listen, I'm just, I'm just a weekender, you know, and uh, a lot of this stuff is kind of high concept to me and uh, I found the book very, very um, digestible, easy to understand, well laid out. Um, and it must be easy to understand if I can understand it, I can tell you that much. But anyway, if you haven't uh, seen Matt, um, check out... Uh, uh, mechanic Matt he's got some really interesting stuff he does tons of stuff on there and actually if you've seen uh, Dave Sturl's um, his YouTube channel Dave Sturl if you've seen his uh, channel he actually recommended Matt to me so I actually came by Matt by way of Dave so uh, two excellent channels that are uh, well worth your time to check out so the book a couple of channels I just mentioned there and um, if you're lucky you've got a pint of beer and you can enjoy both of them on a Sunday night when things are quiet. Okay, that's it. I'll leave it at that now, boys. Cheers.